Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video I'm going to show you how can you control the G2D gimbal for Wakera QRX350 using the Devo 7 transmitter. I have a battery, it's coming to the power. Um, so it's connected to this ESC, the 30 ampere ESC, and I have a motor here. Okay, so this one, now if I receive a signal from my receiver by rotating this knob, the motor should rotate first. I want to make sure that the motor works. I'm going to use one of the servo cables. As you can see with the bus controller, the white is on the left side of this receiver. This is the receiver. The top one is for the um, bus and the, the first one is auxiliary one. So I'm going to use this one, white, on that left side connected. Now this is connected. To make sure the motor works, I'm connecting a negative from the motor, sharing it with this. So this cable is connected to the negative. Just I found one of these black cables. I connected it. So I have another cable. I'm just connecting this EFC to the receiver. The receiver is working here. It's now connected. Okay, now, uh, and in this system, auxiliary one means flap. Okay, that's very important to know. Auxiliary one on the receiver means flap. So if you set flap for something, that goes to auxiliary one of that. So I'm gonna say flap should be connected to aux two this controller. So press enter. As you can see, here we see the system is flashing. With the left arrow, you can go to the model, and then enter means select the model. So we have so many things here. With the left, select down until you see output flashing. You see output is flashing, enter. Now it, it shows the gear. What is the gear, the job assigned to gear to do what? So we go up and down until we see flap. You see flap, that is referring to auxiliary one of the receiver. So with this arrow, you can assign whatever flap, what flap should do. Okay, so many things. We can say auxiliary one should be controlled by this knob X2, auxiliary two. So flap should be aux two. Enter, press enter, but uh, as soon as it's on the screen, that's also fine. Exit, exit. Okay. Now, if I, let's bind this, okay? Many people also still don't know what is the binding mean. So when you turn this on, you will see some flashing of the dots, which I'm going to do next. At that time, as soon as you connect the receiver that is from Wakera, this will bind automatically. That's the binding, you don't need anything else. So turn on. You see all these dots? Just plug it in and that's it. The receiver will flash and it will be solid okay so this solid light let me show you the solid light means uh, the binding happened and it bound so now let me let me rotate and see if the motor rotates Okay, so as you can see, when I rotate the knob, the motor rotates. So my receiver is perfect and I am receiving signal from auxiliary one controlled by the knob. So that's very essential. If you are unable to make this happen, you will fail. So that step is done. Now I'm connecting the, the connector with a pitch white on the left side at the first available connector after the bus. Pitch, put it on auxiliary one. At the bottom, the pitch cable, uh, 
Okay, so here, and this uh, cable which is labeled as pitch, connected at the first line at the far end. So this, this we have three key, uh, pen. The last pen is for the signal. So the middle one is for the positive, and this is for the negative. We do, we do need this is one cable. So put the pitch, and the at the last one. So, so. I connected it and you saw the camera has some activity. It's now going up and down. Now, you will not get, you might not get the right angle and the right position. So what you do is, with this, um, I put it at the middle and the camera is at the middle. That's very nice. I go on the left, it should be on the left. When I go from the middle to the right, it should go down. Let me go to the maximum. That maximum, the camera is almost flat. But if this is not uh, properly at the maximum size uh, flat, so you can change it from here. These are the two knobs. So when you look at it, this is upside down. This one is for the tilt. Okay, this is for the tilt to tell the mm, uh, gimbal and that is what you need during the filming or flight. The other one is for the roll to stable the camera left and right which you set it once and we, I like not to touch it again. You see, I rotated it, now let's see. I can go but I cannot go fully to the right okay so I'm turning it counterclockwise that's the maximum okay so now as you can see the gimbal is responding when I rotate it fully it goes up very high so I go as much as I could so let me see here, as you can see the gimbal is very very high so I can control it and it goes down. So as you can see the gimbal is now set up so don't forget select set flap on your receiver or your transmitter flap to uh, aux 2 that's it and make it active and the gimbal will work please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to control and tilt the gimbal uh, on QRX350 with your Devo 10 with Devo 10 transmitter